Greetings everyone. We are team RoboScot from India and we are here to give our team presentation video. Let me give you all our team overview. Our team consists of 3 members. Shivain who is mainly responsible for the construction and mechanics of our team. He has participated in WRO elementary category and in RoboCup junior line rescue category. He has prior experience of Python coding and hackathon leagues. Akshin is the main programming and coding member of our team. He has participated in WRO elementary category and in RoboCup junior line rescue category. I, Rhythm, am mainly the project planning and task solving member of our team. I have participated in WRO junior and national event and in the national iCode global hackathon in 2024. Moving on let me give you the executive summary of our challenge we are participating in the robocup asia pacific line rescue secondary category prior to qualifying for this category we had participated in the robocup national maze and have been preparing for months to finally conclude the final design of our robot in the line rescue category a robot has been given the task of following the path of a line while tackling obstacles and speed bumps after which on reaching the evacuation zone it has to carefully identify the victims pick them and transport them to a safe place we have used two sensor proportion line following method to navigate throughout the map by detecting the lines our first method for solving such a tremendous task was to first watch videos of other teams doing their rescue line runs their robots and how they had used their programming strategies for line following after this we had started the construction of a robot which at first we thought was the most difficult part of the whole task next we have the robot designs our first design was a spike prime robot we had used the lego spike prime kit for the construction and design of our robot which we thought was more efficient as spike prime sensors were more accurate and many parts including the hubs were compact which made our robot small while also being effectively functional we had used two cycle nxt wheels and two omni wheels for movement two spike prime hubs were in use one hub was for line following and obstacle detection the second hub was for victim color detection and picking the victims ultrasonic sensor was in use to sense obstacles two color sensors were used for line following and a rescue mechanism included a cage like structure which would lift the victims and a dropper was constructed on top of the robot which would drop the victims in the triangles this design was a good one however our robot was not able to accurately transport the victims and was not able to climb ramps as we were running short of the time for a second design which was also in fact our final one it required a lot of dismantling editing and remaking however finally we were able to conclude our robot design and in the end it turned out to be much more different and bigger than our first design however even though it was much bigger and different it was more efficient as it was made out of lego ev3 which was in fact much more harder to code and calibrate but with improvements from our previous design we were able to solve all the hurdles more efficiently and we were able to tackle all the challenges we couldn't with a spike prime robot there are many improvements and changes that we made some of which include the use of the use of reflected light intensity mode instead of line falling use uh, using color mode using of treads instead of wheels for climbing ramps and going over uh, speed bumps which we fought with the sp uh, spike prime bot we could not do and lastly use of only one hub as ev3 has eight ports while spike prime hubs only have six ports this was a uh, this was a better idea because two hubs of the spike prime bot gave more weight and this provided various difficulties such as the speed of the bot and especially while climb, uh, climbing the uh, ramp the bot would topple now let's come to the software we have used ev3 mind some software to code our robot a chart in the following screen as you can see demonstrates how line following code works first we are going to run a forever loop for a line following 
and then we're gonna put an if else condition first of all in that if else condition we have an if statement which uh, states that if sensor 1 intensity is less than 20 which means that the sensor 1 will detect black and if that condition is true then it will turn minus 180 uh, minus 80 degrees at the speed of 30 similarly if that same condition is uh, false then it will uh, move uh, forward uh, sorry, then it will move, uh, turn 80 degrees at the speed of 30 which is opposite to that of sensor 1 and lastly if both of these conditions are not met which means that it will uh, detect white which intensity is greater than 22 it will move forward at the speed of 30 other coding stacks and parts of programming include obstacle detection when a robot detects any obstacle in front of it with the help of the ultrasonic sensor it is programmed to turn 90 degrees to the right and then move in a curved path towards the left till it reaches the line after overtaking the obstacle green dot red line and black line detection our robot uses rgb values to sense the intensity of black line and it senses the color of the red line and stops when it detects the green dot it moves forward for a few degree if it senses black it turns correspondingly towards the direction of the green dot else it continues moving forward evacuation zone on reaching the evacuation zone a robot lowers the cage mechanism and moves at high speed and covers each and every part of the evacuation zone indirectly trapping every victim in the cage which comes in its way victim color detection our dropper placed off top of the robot acts as a storage place for all the victims it also has a color sensor below which detects the color of the victim which is stored right before the dropping door strategies and innovative solutions challenge trapping and lifting victim with cage mechanism without adding an extra sensor for victim location detection solution ladder movement strategy a robot moves throughout the evacuation zone at high speed in a ladder like movement pattern and trap the victim when bumps into a wall challenge the color sensors in the front tend to get stuck when the robot drives over speed breakers solution we added small rubber wheels to the robot without some millimeters of the ground so that they roll over the speed breakers and they also help in climbing ramps in conclusion even in a robotics event we used ai tools such as chat gbt for more innovative ideas in in designing our tdp and even this video however most of our research was mostly from youtube we were also researching for different types of coding strategies such as pid line following and proportional light intensity line following we even went through videos including many different robot design and mechanisms and clubbed our own ideas with some of these creative ideas we saw after months of practice and hard working there was a lot of editing and fine tuning left to do however in the end we knew that it was inevitable to make mistakes and much more harder to learn from those mistakes we as team are very excited as this was our first out of station experience except robocup nationals and we also wanted to give our best in this event thank you